Hi there, today I want to show you a tutorial how to enable the stamps update, well not enable it, uh, make it available on your controller, because many of the older controllers don't support stamps right now, it's not on the mapping here anywhere, so we can actually sacrifice the buttons we don't use, let's say we have, here I have pitch bend, I don't really use it, so I can enable stamps on it, Let's say the minus will disable vocals and the plus will disable bass drums melody. Just an example, you can do whatever you want and whatever button you want. And actually, you don't even need a controller. You can use any MIDI device here. Right here, I have Mixers Primo. Pretty old, doesn't support it. So let's head to the settings here on the top right. Go to the MIDI section, allow hardware remapping, and add a new preset. Name it however you want. Don't be scared by the fancy words here. It won't affect anything until you do something. <laughs> and in that case, you always have the restart defaults button. You actually have uh, output lightning. Well, that would just change the lightning settings, but let's not get into that. Keep it simple right now. Let's turn off the settings menu, head back into Cerrito, Cerrato, I have no clue how it's called actually. <laughs> and on the top left, we have a MIDI button here, we press it, and some fancy words light up. We don't care, we just want stamps on our controller. So first of all, we're gonna go to the top left, select this one, it turns off, turns on all these stamps. We have well, we have two buttons here. This would only turn on local, vocals, keep the vocals, and this would keep drums, melody, and bass. So let's say we want to turn off vocals. Uh, we can use this. We can also use this. Let's press it with the left leg, upper mouse, and select the button. As I said, I will be using pitch band. So let's press the minus one. And it says it's assigned. So now it's assigned. Now if I would to press minus, it would disable this. Let me show you. Boom. Okay, I'm gonna give it a bit sound. As it's disabled. If I press it again, it's enabled. Blah blah blah. Very simple. So let's now set up the plus one. We do it the same way. Press MIDI. Find the button we like, and I'm gonna use this one to keep only vocals. We press it, we press the plus, and it's here, it's assigned. We go to the MIDI section again, the MIDI button, let's say. Press off, boom, and it's only vocals from here. Press it again, it's the whole song. Press the left one, and it's only drums, bass, blah, blah, blah. You can actually see what's being disabled here. You can also use the lower ones. You can actually map anything you want. It's just an example for stems. So that's how you get your older controller or any MIDI device you would like to use these buttons. And you will not need to go to the menu, use it, which would help you in a gig if you want to do these things. I think it's pretty useful. So yeah, that's it. Hope it helps. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments.